Hello, hello, welcome back to another video on the channel where healing and spiritual growth are front and center. This video shout out goes to a 27a.k.g27. Thank you for your continued support. And we want to dive into another piece of the puzzle, okay? Because a lot of survivors wonder, you know, as they continue on the healing journey and in the spiritual awakening and things like that, they wonder, you know, who who is it other than, than the empath? You know, who is it that the narcissistic abusers target, what they're looking for? All right, so we're going to dive into some key points. Okay, that have been mentioned throughout videos on this channel. But we'll bring it all together right here. All right, so as always, if you've got a way of taking notes, mm -hmm, <laughs> grab your notebook and a pen or however you take notes, and we'll dive into those. Uh, but real quick reminder that, yes, yeah, before you get lost in the message or tackle another task while listening, let's make sure we give the videos a thumbs up so other Fellow chosen survivors can get the message as well. It's all about learning together on this journey. Yes, spiritual warriors for Christ, this is a journey. All right, and so we want to make sure all of God's chosen get these important points, okay, to help them also in their healing process. All right, so we learn that once God awakens us to and from the abuse, that okay now we see it for what it is we didn't before we knew the obvious okay the obvious abuse okay we always knew that was wrong we didn't know about the psychological and emotional aspect of it quite yet okay so we all had to learn that but narcissistic abuse or what they're looking for okay so like I said in a live video, okay, uh, when we did the survivor's testimony, talks about vulnerability, okay? So that's just one, okay? That's point number one, vulnerability. That's what they're seeking, okay? They're seeking out those who are having, um, let's just say, a, a, a challenging time in their lives, okay? And so they seek those out because they they can sense and see the vulnerability, okay? Because if you're grieving or mourning or going through um, the overcoming the sadness of grief, you know, everybody grieves in their own way, all right? But the narcissistic abuser, they can sense that. So for many of us who ended up in another abusive relationship after abusive relationship, situationship or whatever, it's because we didn't take the time to fully heal. So we understand that now. And the importance of it, of taking that time to fully heal so that we can get that vulnerability off the table. All right, so we are no longer, you know, in a, at a, in a vulnerable state. We no longer let it, you know, uh, let's just say transcend outward, okay? That spiritual energy transfer. That's how they sense it, but that's what they're looking for. All right, that's just one of the main ones, all right, is that vulnerability. So you always want to do that self-checking, okay? Never forget, all right, before you head on out there or think you're ready to dive back into the dating pool or what have you, you want to do some self-checking. Make sure that you have sealed up or taken care of any vulnerabilities that you know between you and God, okay? You and God will do, will do that self-reflection to figure out what they may be, all right? And so you and and with him, with the heavenly Father, to you, you'll work through it. Okay, you'll work through it, help to overcome that, and 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 get it off the table. Okay, so that's all part of the healing process. All right, the second thing, okay, number two, that narcissistic abusers are seeking. Okay, is that you know, well, it could should be number one. However, it's a good heart. Okay, they can sense that. They can tell. All right, remember, they know when somebody is not like them. Okay, they know it. They can see it. All right, and that's what they're looking for. If someone they know has a good heart. Because remember what they like to do? Mm-hmm. They like to tug at people's heartstrings. Mm-hmm. That victim mentality that they have. Okay. They love to try and tug at, at people's heartstrings, you know, playing on emotion, 
right? That energy and motion try to tug at the heartstring, right? So that's another thing, right? That they look for is the good heart. They target that. Uh huh. Yes, big time. All right. So we always want. To, that's another reason why we learn to turn off that mental empathy switch, so that they can't sense it so easily. All right. That's the oh, most important thing. And again, as a reminder, you all, that takes practice. Okay. It's not going to happen overnight. All right. It takes practice. Because I'm going to share with you all, even I had to have that close talk with God and say, what is going on? How is it that they're mirroring our empathy? And so it was with God mm -hmm, who showed me exactly how they were doing it through the eyes, okay? And it's through that spiritual energy transfer. And once we, mm -hmm, God, God will show you how to turn it off, okay? That's what he did for myself, okay, and many others. I mean, God will show us. Because if we're always dwelling in the secret place of the Most High, remember what he said in Psalm 91, dwelling in the secret place of the Most High with the Almighty God, okay, where no evil shall befall thee, because you're seeking ye first the kingdom of God when you are with him asking God, okay, how, why, how do I, how do I stop this from happening, how do I, you know, handle this, how do I handle that spiritual energy, how do I protect my spiritual energy, and God will guide your steps every step of the way. Cause that's what he did. You know, when he, I asked him that very specific question, and he showed me, you know, how the one dude was doing it. And then as soon as I realized what he was doing, God stepped in and, okay, and then it gave that, the narc got a deer in the headlight look. Mm-hmm, all right, so they know. They know they don't understand it. Mm -mm, no, they don't understand it. All they know is that they're trying to, uh, yeah, they're trying to lure you, lure us in, okay, to their trap. All right. So we learn not to let them do that. But they're looking for that good heart, the empathy, all of that. Okay. So that kind of, you know, when 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 we say they seek out empath, that's pretty much what they're doing, looking for those who have empathy and compassion and have the good heart. All right, remember, because what's the enemy want to do? Steal, kill, and destroy, right? He wants to try to turn everybody's heart bitter, all right? When God wants to cleanse and purify it, all right? But strengthen it at the same time. And having a good heart is not going out here like these narcissistic abusers do with that saccharine sweetness falling all over each other, okay? That's not what it is, all right? They, they like to portray it as that, but that's not, mm -mm, no. Never forget, Jesus taught tough love, all right? Tough love. Okay, so the third, uh-huh, the third one, and third and final one we're going to discuss in this video is naivete, okay? Those who are naive to their shenanigans. Absolutely. Okay, so let's say you have someone that, you know, like ourselves, we all were naive we're still learning i want y'all to remember that <laughs> you know we're still learning because we gotta let god show us what he needs us to learn right there you go and so we learn to let him do that but we were all naive obviously i mean we have to you know we have to mature we have to learn we have to grow we evolve things like that and and that starts to dissipate over time right to where we're not it's, it's that sharpening of the discernment Right? So we're no longer that naive anymore to their shenanigans. We see what they're trying to do. But until we get there, okay, that's, that's what they're looking for as well. So you've got vulnerability, naive, you know, naivete, or being naive. Okay, you've got those two things. And then the person has a good heart also. So with all three attributes right there. Okay, see, there's that magic number three again, and I know there are more things that they seek, but I wanted to cover the top three to give you all some homework to do. Let's drop it in the comments below some other things you have found out that narcissistic, narcissistic abusers seek other than money. Okay, we know they have the love of money, the root of all evil. Okay, we know this. But other attributes of their targets, that's what we're looking for, okay? So we want to focus on that. We're not focused on the physical or the materialistic, so to speak, okay? That's not for this video of what the narcissistic abusers seek. So let's drop it in the comments below. It's some a character attribute, okay? Some character trait that the narcissistic abusers seek in their targets. 
Okay, remember we have a top three, right? Quick recap. That vulnerability, you know, you're going through a, a challenging time in, 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 the, in your life. Then you got a good heart on top of being naive to the shenanigan. Right, so we have all. If you've got all three of those, then that makes the, uh, that makes a person a much easier target for a narcissistic abuser. Okay, but if you're you know going through, so you, that's another big reason why. Okay, what we learn that that's daily self checking and and checking in with God all the time and making sure that we are uh, you know arm it up as oh that's a big one. Okay, arm it up, and then also, you know, dwelling in the secret place of the Most High, all right, so that God can show us how to, all right, God will see, He will, you know, guiding our steps, He will show us why, He will tell us why, He will show us how, He will work with us, because He knows that we, we have to learn all about the different spiritual energies and things like that. God knew that, but we didn't even know that's what it was. Uh, to how they were, you know, how that abuse was just them, you know, projecting outward their own demon spirits, trying to get them to attach to our subconscious, okay, and, and long term, okay. So we got to remember that. So we learned that that's, you know, remember that self deliverance begins within, okay. So as always, if you've got any questions, you know where to reach me for additional information, insight, and other good stuff. You can check out these videos right here. Sending love and light to all fellow warriors. Thank you for watching and for your support. Until next time, let's show some gratitude to the Heavenly Father. And you keep being you. In Jesus' name, amen.